Okay, first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, prepare the black surface of our masonite board. Um, you can use a canvas or wood or whatever you want. I use a masonite board. This is a 12 by a 12 by 16, excuse me, 12 by 16 masonite board, and I've already just sold it, so it's primed real nice and good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up the surface first with uh, black paint. I have a sponge brush right here. I'm just going to squeeze a little paint here. And you want to do that, let that be the first thing you're going to do for your surface. Now, if you're using a canvas that's already primed, pre, pre gesso canvas, that's totally fine. Um, you can do a smaller version of this, but I just want to give you guys an idea how you create a unique um, flower painting uh, that shows a little bit of the black, ground, black background coming through on the uh, surface. This is one of my favorite techniques, favorite type of paintings to do. I love doing this kind of paint, painting and it's real fun. A lot of my people who take my live painting class, they love it as well. So I'm just going to cover up my entire surface with black paint. Put some more paint here. And once I finish putting covering up with the paint, I'm going to let it dry for about 15, 20 minutes. Depending on how much coat, coat of paint you put on there, that determines how long it'll take to dry. And that should be it. All right, now that you got your your blackish dry, you can go ahead and start on the um, actual drawing of the flower painting. Um, I'm gonna use white just kind of so you guys can see. And I'm basically just gonna draw a triangle. Well, the base, but it's kind of shaped like a triangle over here to the right side of the canvas board. I'm gonna draw a circle for my table. And then a line going straight across. Over here, I'm going to add kind of like an outline of where my bouquet of flowers is going to be. And that's it. And once that dries, we can go ahead and start painting the painting. Now I'm going to start on my background. And here, I'm just going to use some of my paint get a little bit with my palette knife just gonna lightly go touch my background leaving some of the black areas showing and you kinda wanna use the tip of your palette knife get up right on the line of your objects Try to cover up the line as much as possible that you drew with the brush. This is my favorite part. I love the scratching of the palette knife on my surface. You can use any color that you like for your background. Um, this is the color that I'm using. You can use any color scheme, but I just want you guys to get the, the technique down. And I'm kind of doing like an X motion. And it's basically just lightly touching my surface with the palette, tip of the palette knife. You don't want to smooth it all out. That way you cover up the whole entire uh, surface and you won't be able to see any black. By doing this, it gives a unique look to your overall painting. here put a little bit more up here you know, 
on this side. It might feel weird doing this at first. Just kind of got to get used to it. You can practice before you start on your main painting if you want. Or work on a smaller surface. And that should be it from the background. Cover up a little bit more black than I should, but that's okay. And if you notice the composition, I kind of want the flower to take up at least one side of the uh, of my um, background. So you see how I have the flower kind of going over to the side, just for composition. I didn't want to put the flower in the middle. Kind of want to put it off to the right and let the top part of the flower kind of go over to the left side of the the. Um, the uh, canvas board. Here's my table and my other part of the table I guess you can say. This just kind of give a unique look to it. Um, again it's not realistic but kind of semi abstract. Okay, I'm going to start on my table and my base. Flower I want to do last. But again you want to work kind of fast so this is still wet. While it's still wet you kind of move it in with the flowers and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get my next color. Here I'm using the cadmium red. I decided instead of using the cat gray, I'm going to use a uh, a heavy body uh, red light, naphthol red. I like it a little bit better. It's a little bit brighter. So I'm going to use that instead, the cat red. Squeeze out a little bit too much paint over there. I can use that for a smaller painting once I finish this one. Wipe this off a little bit. Here I'm just going to get my red. I'm going to just go here. Again, be conscious of letting some of that black show. Sometimes it's hard to do and because we're so used to covering up the whole entire surface. So just kind of be conscious of what you're doing. Slightly slide your palette knife back and forth using the tip. If I put too much on there and slide it all over, it'll cover up the entire surface. So I just kind of want to lightly and gracefully add my paint using the tip part of my palette knife. It might take a little time getting used to, but that's okay. I love how that red and black contrast up against each other. I even like so how this is still wet, kind of mix this in a little bit. Again, you don't have to use the same color scheme as me, but um, you can if you want to. I try. I say try several of these and see what what looks good. What works best? These can be great gifts to give to people or to sell. I like that wet on wet. I'm gonna mix that in a little bit. Not much. Okay, now I'm gonna work on my vase here. I'm gonna use a turquoise. Just a little bit. I have a tendency to add more paint than I need. Bad habit of mine. I just use it for another painting, smaller painting. Alright, so I'm going to add again, being conscious of letting some of that black show. Lightly scrape your palette knife on your surface. Be loose, keep your wrist loose. Don't try so hard making it perfect. It's okay if you go out of line. We're not looking for perfection.
again. I like the wet on wet, so I'm gonna mix that in, let it come in just a little bit. Use the tip of my palette knife. You don't have to do this, I like doing this. Kind of give a unique look. Alright, now I'm going to work on my, uh, I guess you can say, other table, <laughs> or the floor. Again, I just drew the straight line just going across. Just kind of gives a nice look, nice overall composition look. I could have brought the background on down with the same color, but I think this will break up just the whole uh, look of the overall painting and the shapes. Just kind of make a better composition. <clears throat> What I'm going to do now is add my white. Again, let some of that black show. Using the tip of my palette knife. Scraping it on. If you're using it using the brush, it's gonna take a little time using the tip of the palette knife and not smoothing out the paint on the surface. So just kind of be prepared for that. And that should be it. Now I'm gonna work on my flowers here. I'm gonna start off with my red rose. I'm just going to put some roses throughout the top part. Just kind of fill it up. So I'm going to put some over here. I'm going to go around in a circular motion. Again, let some of the black show. Don't have to be perfect circles. Let me see, probably one more running off the edge right here. That should be it. Maybe, might be adding a little bit two more, but I'm just gonna put one right here. Okay. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to fill in my area with different colors, green, whites, and so forth. Again, your color scheme is up to you. I'm just going to add just a little bit of here, a little bit of there. And just kind of use nice sharp strokes for your, your leaves. Nothing too smooth. Just kind of help make it look like real leaves a little bit. I'm just going to fill it in all over. You can have some of it coming out. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Mm. 
And I'm just using the green right out the tube. I could add, make a lighter green, dark green. But just for the sake of this video tutorial, I'm just using the green straight out the tube. Yeah, just basically uh, light green. Permanent green light. Don't force the stroke, just kind of paint loose. Some of the red mixed in with the green, that is totally fine. I kind of like that look. Actually, you can use different techniques with the tip of your palette knife. Filling in that way. What I'm gonna do is add a little light green, just kind of break it up a little bit. certain areas kind of give it a little bit more dimension I'm going to add a little white, just kind of break it up a little bit, little circles. I could go on and add more color, yellows, greens, purples. Again, it's all up to you. You don't want to add too much when the painting kind of gets too busy. Put some of this turquoise in here. roses don't have to but just an option now I can add more to this painting I add more colors but I'm going to stop here just kind of give you an idea of how your overall painting can look I could go back in and add a little bit more color yellows greens blues purples depends on how much I want to go as far as my bouquet uh, the color arrangement in my bouquet uh, I hope you guys like it. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or leave a uh, email me. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for following me. And thank you so much.